Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got another unenveloping for you. We're going to start with this package here. This has come all the way from Colt Pens in the UK. I'm going to split this over two videos. The first one, we'll have a look at the inks and the accessories. And then in a follow-up video, we'll look at the two pens that are in this package. So join me now down on the mat. Let's kickstart this conversation and jump straight into the inks. Welcome down to the mat. So jumping straight in, we've got this bag here and opening it up, it reveals four inks. Just put this off to one side. I'll fetch them in one after the other. The first pen is Cold Pens Little Mo. There we go, Little Mo. The next one, again, a Cold Pens ink, Little Herbie. The third one, Little Bob. Finally, we've got Little Pip. So Cold Pens inks all made by Diamine. We'll take a look at the swatches on these later on and we'll do a little bit of writing with them. But for now, I'm just going to clear these off. The other things that I got, well, this next one was a freebie. This is a pencil. I know that because it tells me this is a pencil. I love that. I love little humorous things. Next items that were in this package are these. These are for my desk plotter. Here it is. I've had this for a while now, but I haven't really used it because I only had this one blotting paper. Now I've got two packets of spares, so hopefully I've got enough blotting paper to last me for a while. Then the final thing in here is in this box. The, so this is by Kueko. I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. So inside there with this really nice looking tin, if I open it up, what I've got here, let me just get in there. There we are, so we can pull this out. This is a dip pen. Now I've got this because I want to try using it when I'm doing my ink samples. So I've got a standardized pen there that I can use with it. And also I want to learn more about using dip pens and doing calligraphy. So that's why I thought, well, this will be a nice pen to start with. Also in here, we've got this package. Let's see what's here. That looks like it's another kind of nib holder. Not sure, I'll have to look in the instructions. And then obviously here, we've got a little leaflet. And hopefully I'll be able to work out how to use all of these. And you'll be able to start seeing the results of that shortly. So that's all the items that I got in this package. I'll just quickly fetch them all back in. I'm now going to step away from the desk and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch these inks. I'm not going to have you sit there watching me do it because it takes a while to do. So I'll come back and then we'll look at the inks. Then what I'm also going to do, and this is something new, I'm going to use this, which is a Jinhao 159. And I'm going to do a brief writing sample with each of the inks, as well as looking at the swatches. So here we are, we're back. I've swatched all those inks. The first one we're going to look at is this one, Little Mo. So here's my swatch of it. I love the look of this. This, in some respects, reminds me a little bit of Supernova, but not with the exact same shades. So it looks like it's got a blue for the background color, but then it's got this really nice, I would say it's a pink sheen, whereas Supernova by Colorverse, that's got a red sheen. So I think there is quite a bit of difference between the two. Still nice looking though, isn't it? A couple of comparisons that I dug up. First one here, it's Limey Azurite. So I think it's a bit more purple, whereas the Little Mo is a little bit more on the blue side, but it, this one, it's got like a black sheen to it. I've also dug out Diamine Sapphire Blue, which I think really is close to that blue of the background. What I'm going to do now is a short writing sample. For the writing samples, I'm going to use this. This is a Jinhao 159. It's a medium nib. And all I'm going to do is dip it in the ink bottle, just so I don't waste a lot of ink by filling and then emptying it out again. So I'm going to fetch in a, an ink holder. Here we are, we've got Quickie Koala today. I'm giving the bottle a shake to make sure that it gets nice and mixed. And here we go. So ink number one for today. Just dip that pen in. This is 
Cold Pens, Little Mer. Just do some writing. Just move that out of the way before I knock it over. There we go. Start to run out of ink now on my nib. I'll just quickly rinse off that pen, pop the lid back on the ink before I accidentally knock that over. And let's have a quick look at this. So this paper, it's an endless recorder notebook. It's 68 GSM Tom I River paper. I like the look of that. I'm not seeing a lot of that pink sheen coming through there in the writing. I see a little tiny bit in this little swab here. But I like the look of it, it looks quite nice. A little bit dark, could be because I've dipped it, so it might be different once I get it into an actual pen. So we can see here the I looks black, part of the M looks black. The, the lit, I can't spell little today, the lit with the L, that was invisible, that looks black as well. But then we've got other parts which has got that beautiful blue color I like the look of that one so we'll move on we'll look at ink number two which is this one little bob let me fetch that bottle in so this to me has got a brownie gold background but then it's got like the red sheen to it i like brown inks anyway so i think this one's going to be quite interesting the writing up here I did that using that dip pen and I think I need to practice a little bit more with it, don't I? I'll get there in the end. But yeah, another one looks quite nice. For pulling some comparisons, I've got Ancient Song, Wanderer's Song. This has got more of the red background with that goldy coloured sheen to it there. And also as another comparison, I thought, let's look at Diamine Syrah because again, where we've got this reddish sheen does remind me a little bit of the Syrah colour. Let's move these out of the way. This is Colt Pens. Little Bob. That dried off the nib really quickly. So to me, when I'm looking at this, I think I must have got mixed up slightly. The red seems to be the main colour here with that brown as a sheen, which when I look on this card, it looks the opposite to me. But when I write with it, I've got to go by what I see when I'm writing. I love the shading that's coming through, especially on this first line where we've got the grumpy wizards. We've got bits of pink coming through, bits of red. I say, by the time I get to the second line, because it's starting to run out of ink that from where I've dipped, we're seeing more of that pinky colour coming through. I like this. I like the brown of it. Again, I like brown colours. I like the actual background colour. I like that. I want to say crimsony pink colour. Again, I think that looks quite nice as well. So overall, nice looking colour combination here. And we'll move on to the next one. So the next one we've got Little Herbie. And then that room on here. There's the bottle. I'll stand this on top of the bottle. So here we are, Little Herbie. So this is more of a purple background and coming through there in that sheen, I can see, I'm going to call it a crimson. I think it's red because it's on that purple background. Again, it's another nice colour. Let me just pop that out of the way there. I can pop that down. A couple of choices that I came up to compare this with. Diamine Oxford Blue. Again, I see a lot of this background. Not quite the same. The background on Little Herbie seems a little bit greyer than the blue in Oxford Blue. So I've also got Robert Oster, Great Southern Ocean. Again, 
I think this is more on the blue than the purple, but it's the closest that I had to it at the time. I like it. I can see a lot of grey in the purple of Little Herbie, which I see in the Great Southern Ocean Swatch. So yeah, not a perfect match, but it gives an idea. Let's get this out of the way and we'll do a writing sample. So cult pens. Little Herbie. Again, I think I'm running out of ink on the nib. Hopefully I've got enough on there. Now let me just re-dip it. Just gonna redo that. There we go. Nice blue ink there when you look at it. I thought it was purple when I saw it on the swatched card. And doesn't that show you the difference you can get by using a different instrument? On the swatch cards, I use a six millimeter Pilot Parallels pen on a coloring card. Whereas here, I've got Tomai River paper with a medium nib. And to me, I do see a big difference in both of them in what I'm seeing coming onto the paper. So let's take a closer look at this one. Again, not really seeing too much in the way of the sheen at the moment. You know, there is a little bit there. You know, on the I and the Z, uh, D, the M, the K. So it is coming out a lot heavier on the first line, but obviously that's after I just dipped it. So I wouldn't expect that when I'm doing my normal writing. Again, it's another one. I like it. I like the fact that it introduces a little bit of interest into the writing, which is really a lot of what you're trying to do by using the different inks. Let's move this up. So our final ink is Little Pip. So again, I'm just going to balance on there. I don't want to put on the ink that's currently drying. This one, it's definitely purple. I can definitely say that's a purple background. And it's got a gold sheen, but depending how you hold it, it looks black. It looks really interesting on the card. But yeah, I definitely see that lovely, gorgeous purple background. Just going to pop that down. The ones I'm going to compare it against. Noodler, North African Violet. When we look at this against the purple, it's... It's definitely a different shade. It's a little bit lighter, but again, it's the nearest that I have in my current collection. And then the other one I'm going to fetch in is Diamine Mondobo's hat. And this, the purples are very similar. When you think that they're both made by Diamine, you would expect some similarities. I don't really see the, any of that sheen coming through on the Diamine ink, whereas we, it looks really nice there with that Colt Pens one. Let's do our writing again. So for the final time, Pen nib goes in. So we have here Colt Pens Little Pip. Let's do our little sample things. So we've got definite nice, lovely purple color there. So this is another ink as I look at it. Love the background color. I love the purple. You know, same with the others. You can see it getting paler as I write more with it. Again, in terms of sheen, and I see a lot of black there. Can't really see much coming off. Oh, yes, I can there. If I, I twist it up now, where I've got black when it's laid down, I definitely see hints of gold coming through. So again, it's adding interest to the writing. It's another ink, which I think will be interesting to see what it's like when I get it into a real pen rather than just dipping. So fetch this down. So we've got all four inks there on the page. So looking at these, Colt Pen's Little Mo, gorgeous pale blue background 
and again look at that let me just see if i can get that sheen coming through we can see that lovely red sheen coming through cult pens little bob which has got that i'm gonna call it a, a pinky red i'm not really very good at naming colors but that's what the background is but then look at all this brown coming through i really like that i really like the look of that one it's got two of the colors that i like to write with so yeah i want to get this into a pen i think i want to get this into a broad nib Cult Pen's Little Herbie. Again, that, that more of a grey-blue colour, but with some little bits of that ready colour coming through there with the sheen. And then finally, Cult Pen's Little Pip. Gorgeous purple background colour with that goldy, you know, sometimes looking even black sheen coming through. Really nice looking ink. So that's the inks together with the blotting papers and that dip pen and also the pencil. They're what came in that package, leaving the two pens which we'll look at in a future video. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do you have these inks? What do you think of them? Are there any other similar ones that's worth me trying out? Please drop a comment below. Let's kickstart the conversation. If you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button, give the video a like. The more people that like and comment, well, it just helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.